Hello friends, this is Larry with Rides Done Right. You're watching Return to Track Days. Today I'm talking about my uh, slide protection, pro engine protection, really protection in general, on my Yamaha uh, R1. I've got a 2013 R1 that I'm, that I'm riding uh, this year and uh, I went with T-Rex for all that protection stuff on it. I've got the spools for the wheels. I've got engine case covers they, that they, you can get in a kit or you can get them individually. I've got the frame sliders. These frame sliders mount super, super solid. Now there's gonna, you're gonna hear a lot of things about, about frame sliders. If, if they're flat against the bike, if you have your, your, your off on pavement and then you go into grass, uh, it, it's more likely with them being flat to just slide right across and, and not do anything worse to your bike. However, if you have like the T-Rex that stick out like this, they're great for sliding across the track, but if you get into the grass, it has the potential of picking it up and flipping it over. Now, for me, my thought is, is that what happens it's a 50-50 deal. You just got to pick your poison. You don't know if it happens, what, what's going to happen with it. So uh, I love that these are strong sliders, and so I went with the T-Rex sliders. Um, they also have rear spools, so you can uh, put your bike on your uh, on your uh, rear stand when you're doing that kind of stuff. I have a Bursic stand for my uh, R1, so it's not an issue. Um, they're, the quality on these uh, engine guards and engine protectors you know you compare them to the best that are out there I'll compare them to any of the best that are out there they're great and the price point on them uh, is competitive so I, I love their setup I, I love what it is that they put together for me and last but not least I, I love their uh, strapless uh, 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 trailer does, uh, uh, clamps that they make. Now you, you ride into your chalk and you flip their, their uh, gizmos over the top of their rear spools, tighten them down and walk away and that's how we haul uh, our bikes in the back. We have one where we use straps in the middle because we want to have it be more versatile for what we're doing so we don't have exact point we want to place it. But for the two bikes that go in the back they work super great. So that's it for now. Look out for T-Rex racing and uh, We'll talk to you next time.